All right, guys, I hope Zadima's plan to rig today's election have been foiled as police have made several arrests. And one of the arrests police made is um, a House of Reps member in Imo State called Reps Amadi, and his picture is right now on the screen. Reps Amadi was arrested this afternoon. Well, um, after he carted away election materials, he was arrested by the police and the military and then um, the material was recovered all right the material was recovered from the police so um right away this is a very big setback for opus zadima because um opus zadima had wanted doing everything possible within his power to make sure this election is rigged using the security outfit in the state called ebu Beagu, and also to hope asari you know our uh, boys that was dummy uh, asari Dokubo's boys. But you see, all of these have been foiled, and Opus Adima now is now in the dark. Now, the way another way they want to rig in this election is through the coalition center. They want to use the coalition center to rig because that is where the rigging itself takes place proper. But as I speak to you now, the heavy security at the at the um at the coalition center is so much that you can't even rig, not even one pin can be rigged because uh, Tenebo have given instruction, a very direct instruction to security agencies to make sure that they prevent any form of rigging during this election. So this election in a way is going to be free and fair. Some people don't believe it. Some people think it's just a scam, but I'm telling you, from looking at the whole thing, Tenebo is not on the side of Opus Zadima. Hopus Zadima never supported Tenebu's emergence as APC uh, primary candidate. He never supported, he was supporting Ahmed Lawan. So Tenebu wants to pay him back. So this is payback time. So Hopus Zadima is really scared. Alright, he's really scared and all avenues to rig have totally been blocked. Now, it actually took Hopus Zadima some time to realize that APC cabals were fighting against him. And that was when they removed the commissioner of police just two days to the election. The commissioner of police was removed by the IGP. So this came as a very serious shock to Opus Zadima. And that means it is not business as usual. And a heavy presence of military police and also civil defense were posted to the state to block every form of rigging. All right, so guys, it's been very difficult for anyone to rig today. Today is a no rigging day, and Opus Zadima, from every indication, is going to lose this election because it's not popular. NLC are against him, Emo youth are against him, the Emo light are against him. They don't like him. He is not popular. He has not even done anything. Can you imagine Opus Zadima campaigning at this moment and making, still making promissory notes? Take a look at this video. I will create jobs. I will bring Medicare. I will restore our school system. I will make the teaching profession more meaningful. I will get teachers to come and choose to teach as a choice, not because of lack of jobs. We will do all this. All you owe me on the 11th of this month, go India, cast your vote, best citizen. Vote for APC. All right, guys, so you heard him right. So I put that this is an old video. This is not an old video. You heard him mention 11th of this month. That is today. This is Opus Adima campaigning and still making promises after four years. You see, this is why he's not popular in Imo State. And Imo State don't like him at all. He was never the, the choice of the people. They never voted for Opus Adima. They never voted for him. Opus Adema came distant foot. Was it foot or third? You know, that is why it was the, the, the it was Supreme Court that made him a governor. That's why till tomorrow they still call him Supreme Court Governor. He never won. He was never popular. People don't know him in Imo State. So right now, the Imo lights are ready to pick their choice. And from all indication, the battle might likely be between um pdp and labor party but i think more of labor party all right more of labor party because all these years of pdp's uh, uh, uh government what have they even achieved 
Although we know PDP government is even more preferable to, to APC. But let's give Labour Party a chance. That's what Nigerians are saying. So that is what is happening right now. So but what do you guys think? Um, you can drop your comment below. You can do well also too by hitting the like button on this video to get this video to go viral on the YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much and God bless you.